think this is about to be a good look, man. I just seen the news floating around, man. First off, man, all my people on TikTok, don't forget to hit that follow button. All my people on Instagram, don't forget to hit that follow button. And YouTube, subscribe to the channel, man. With our DJ academics and uh, Young Miami, plan to have a sit down, you know what I mean? Just discuss their issues and problems at hand. I think it's a good idea. I think the numbers gonna go through the roof. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, they'll be able to, uh, I guess they doing the J-Main, I would say, pushing peace. You know what I mean? I think it's a good look, especially uh, on her side. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a, a great look. You know what I mean? For uh, having a hip hop platform, you know what I mean? Being able to uh, sit down and discuss the issues at hand and not doing the back and forth on the internet. You know what I mean? I think it's a powerful move, a good look. And I can't wait to see it, you know what I mean? That's gonna be something good to enjoy. You know what I mean? See, can they be able to sit down and have uh, an amazing conversation without all the antics, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna happen, but you know what I mean? I think I'll be anticipating that uh, that interview or that, uh, you know what I mean, the debate or whatever they're gonna have on that show that particular day, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, man, when I heard that, I was like, man, that's that's a powerful move right there. The, the ratings gonna go through the roof with that. You know what I mean? Especially people that have been having so many issues and little tick and tack moments through the internet at each other. Finally sitting down and um, putting the beef behind each other. You know what I mean? And actually talking to each other on the same playing field. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, I can't wait to see that, man. I was, I was, <laughs> that caught me off guard like a mug, man. Especially after all this Joe Button stuff that came on and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I feel like, uh, I always felt that her uh, podcast is definitely a great outlet for whatever she's trying to do and is a powerful outlet. You know what I mean? I see a lot of artists trying to do that now, doing a podcast and um, expanding their brands and different avenues and things of that nature. She already got different with uh, clothing and things, candles and different things like that. You know what I mean? Now strengthening her uh, podcast and uh, her influence thing out. You know what I mean? To be able to put more energy into the music and stuff. Like, I don't really know what's going to happen with the music, but I feel like this right here is a building block. You know what I mean? If it go well, though. You know what I'm saying? If it go well, which I think it will. You know what I mean? Because I feel like people are going to come with respect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't expecting nobody to do no love and hip hop type stuff, throwing drinks and all that type of thing. You know what I mean? When people can just sit down and like understand where each person is coming from in a the conversation, then it can just build and you will grow from it. If it comes to the, the thing where people throwing drinks and loud talking and yelling, then it's like the whole purpose of the sit down was ruined. You know what I mean? But the sit, the sit down to be powerful if each person can understand where, where the other person is coming from. You know what I mean? So like I, like I said with the young Miami, a, a very beautiful, amazing looking woman, you know what I mean? That already got a lot of other businesses growing. You know what I mean? But I think I can only talking about her as far as music, what is going on in that category and stuff like that. That's what they really aim at her at, is musically and things of that nature. They don't really aim at the other businesses and stuff like that because they know when you, when, you, when a female look that beautiful, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She'll be able to sell anything. She can have a water bottle and sell it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a bicycle and sell it. Like, she can sell anything when you look that beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So it's like easier to do that. Music is different because it's like, it's so much competition out there, you know what I mean? And then it's like, it's so much nitpicking when you do music because it is, it's a craft and a thing about music that everybody can't do, you know what I mean? Just being beautiful, it's not gonna cut it. That's why you see with Ice Spice, Ice Spice is an extremely beautiful woman. She can sell anything, but not music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the competition, man, what people are looking for when they're listening to that. Think about it like a Ruby Rose. You know what I mean? Which I always felt like she could be an extremely dope artist. You know what I mean? But she don't come out enough because she got so many other avenues of which she get her income and things. So they don't really take the music seriously. They they use their influence as far as the Instagram, the YouTube, the different social media platforms to grow the other things that they're doing. And then music is just like a promotion or a commercial where they might just do one music video if it pop on TikTok or something like that. And they kind of like don't really invest into that. They invest into the other avenues where they know they're more stronger at. With Young Miami, right? They trying to get her to be strong in the music in all categories, which we could say that she, she already strong in the other categories, but then it comes to music, it's a static. But if you get her strong in all categories, 
Yeah, she gonna be she gonna be something something uh, hard. <laughs> she gonna be real hard out here, G. Yeah, she gonna be she, she gonna be you know what I mean on top, and she be able to master all like a Nikki or something like that. But it ain't, it's only a few that can do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause she already got the beauty. It's only just the music aspect. Everything else is aligning. Then she got the podcast that already won two awards already. So she, she, you know what I'm saying? She already there. She already on a successful path right now. It's just a little small setback. But like I say, with her, it's like the the picking with the Joe Button and stuff. We gotta stay away from all of this. The, the academics back and forth. Stay away from all of that. That just it's just too much unnecessary stuff. That's why I feel like this sit down is very important, and it shouldn't be chaotic and crazy. Like we don't need to have the same thing that happened with the first interview that happened and the second one where it's like everything just looked like a bunch of lies and a bunch of bull. You gotta gotta pinpoint everything on the right on the right line. Like you can't just you gotta be not I mean on point with it. You feel me? That's all it is. It's like but she already her successful path is already there. She already a multi millionaire. She already beautiful and all of the she she if you took a chart out right. And you put y'all Miami, and you, you will be checking damn near all the charts and stuff for the musical uh, side of it all. That's it, musical side. It's what she came in the game with. <laughs> it's the side that would be unchecked. It'll have X on that joint. But every other category, she didn't got it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, it's like uh, that's why you lean more to the JT side. Because that, that side is, 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 is all the boxes are checked. You know what I mean? And I think it's the work ethic that, that people really trying to figure out. But it's, like I said before, Sometimes you can run yourself thin by trying to do like a hundred things at one time. You know what I mean? Especially music, you can't really do that. That's like when you have a basketball player, a football player, and he's trying to do acting and music. They tell him do that stuff in the off season because it's such a distraction. Because you got to put so much into football, basketball to make to actually be great at it. And it's the same thing with music. Music, you don't just pick up a microphone and just start rapping and oh, I'm gonna get this beat. And this it don't work that way. <laughs> it don't work that way. As much as as much as we want to sit back and say it worked that way, it doesn't, man. Uh, and it's the one of the things when you listen to like Ice Spice and stuff. It's like they have music and beats that don't match her voice or her her persona. It just it be the the, the mixing and matching just don't be right. That's why it'd be awful. I think she'd be a dope artist if they stay in her, with her lane. I think it's more pop rap you know, <laughs> to me. You know what I'm saying? Was it when you got some singing on it and then she rapped in between it, that type of thing. They kind of like went, they did a couple of pop rap joints and then they went straight up drill with her. And I was like, nah, because her voice so soft. You know what I mean? You putting her on them records that just don't sound right. Because she ain't got the aggression to go with the record. Maybe I'm off, but her aggression with that re those records don't sound right. It sound crazy as heck. It sound like local artist music. So it's like it's the mixing and matching the actual music for the artist, right? And knowing they tone on each one of the beats and stuff like that to mix it in. It's like, because you can have the best person to mix this stuff in, but it's like the the voice pattern and the thing don't match up to what, what it sounds like. When you actually hear it, it don't match right. But you know what I'm saying? That's why the energy to be off on the record. You know what I mean? But not to go too far on that. But yeah, though, I, I feel like it's a good sit down and I feel like uh, it's, it's, it's something that's needed. And it's a powerful move if she pull it off and actually go through with it. I think this is a real good look for her to do that. that that's, I'm, nobody that's going to be crazy on that show. <laughs> nobody that's going to be crazy. Let's imagine she had at in uh, Joe Buttons on that joint. You know what I mean? And they could actually like talk it out. And it'd be like some grown grown women and grown man conversation without all the antics and all that loving hip hop, throwing drinks and all of that crazy stuff. It actually be done the right way for our community, that would be dope. Not all the antics and crazy stuff. We ain't trying to see that. We trying to see two grown adults sit down and talk their issues out the right way. That would be powerful to me. Not all the antics though, not none of that crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Young Miami is successful with, with, without music. <laughs> and she don't never gotta do music. She can just straight be an influencer because she got the look. She ain't never gotta do music. She gonna be a multi-millionaire regardless, man. You know what I mean? But when she's standing at, when she, it's like being on that football field, being on that basketball court. Now you're going to come out there, you got to bring your A game. And that's how the people look at it when you do that. You know what I'm saying? She influences, she can do that right in her sleep. She already won two awards already. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? But that's all I gotta say about that, G. I'm out, man. Don't forget to share the video, like the video, subscribe. I mean, show the uh, page some love, G. I'm out.